Hey guys, I'm Allie Burns and this is Picks and Parlays. I've got a free college football pick for this Saturday, October the 2nd. Use the promo code WNBA to save yourself 20% off the entire site. Arizona State is taking on UCLA and with me today, I've got Dan Kaiser, the professor, expert handicapper to give us the pick. What's going on, Dan? Uh, not much. You know, it's just football season. It's getting cool here in Michigan. So spent a lot of time indoors watching football and drinking beer. So that's that's all you can that's all you can expect at this time of year. You're a man after my own heart, Dan. A man after my own heart. All right. So let's talk uh, some sunshine here, actually. We're way out on the West Coast. Arizona State is taking on UCLA. You know, UCLA is in this funky little spot. They lose to Fresno. They beat a good Stanford team. And here they are at home, minus three against ASU, who I'm still not exactly sure about. The total's 55. What do you got for me here? Yeah, this is you know this is one of those Pac-12 matchups. You know, it's it's a minus three spread here for UCLA, so it's kind of a coin flip game here. And you know, Arizona State, you know, like they're coming off a, a nice 35-13 win over Colorado, or it seemed nice. It would have seemed nice like three weeks ago, and then Colorado gets blown out by Minnesota, and Minnesota loses to Bowling Green. So I'm not even sure what. And the Colorado pl- played at A and M close before the Minnesota game. So I'm not really sure what to make out of that Colorado team. I'm not sure if that's a good win or not for Arizona State. I mean, Jay, uh, Arizona, Arizona State's led by Jane Daniels, uh, dual threat quarterback. He's thrown for 808 yards. He's only got two touchdowns, three interceptions. He's also rushed for 248 yards this season. You look at this UCLA team, as you said, you know, they lose to Fresno State, and then they come back and beat up on a Stanford team that was looking good. Um, was looking good themselves. You know, Dorian Thompson Robinson has had a really nice game or season so far. Quarterback throwing for a little over 900 yards, nine touchdowns and interception. Uh, Zach uh, Charbonnet, the running backs, 360 yards this season already and seven touchdowns. You know, I think this is going to come down to whoever doesn't turn the ball over. I think both defenses are okay. They're not, you know, that, that's it's not going to be a defensive struggle. I think it's going to come down to these offenses. Uh, but the thing is, I just don't trust Arizona State. I don't trust their consistency on offense. Yes, uh, Daniels is good, and, he's, and he can do a lot of things under center, but they just can't seem to put things together consistently over over long drives. Uh, UCLA right now is, just seems to be hitting all the well, right notes at, the t- at this time and doing what they need to do. Again, I said this was going to be a coin flip. I flipped the coin, and uh, it came up UCLA, so that's what I'm taking in this one. All right. Well, let me just put my whole mortgage on that then. Um, Here's my thing with UCLA. (laughs) I see this a lot of times. Uh, If I have a future on a team, I want them to lose early to a not very good team. And that's what UCLA did, right? They lost at home to Fresno State, um, I think as 13-point favorites. I want to say that because I was on the Fresno side, so I know I cashed that bet. But here's the thing. I like when a good team loses early because they don't get that, you know, trip over your goodness factor that some undefeated teams tend to get. That taste of losing in their mouths inspires them. And we saw that in the Stanford game, and I think it carries over to this ASU game. So I'm absolutely with you. Let's roll with UCLA minus three at home against Herm Edwards and Arizona State.